Hi guys, I'm Luca and I'm a software developer for Udo. In this tutorial we'll show you how to implement an Android app and Arduino sketch that exploit the Udo's potential thanks to the ADK. The accessory development kit provided by Google allows to building accessory for Android devices based on the Arduino framework. With you do so, we have the Android device and his Arduino accessories in the same board. Uh, there's an Arduino Due on you do, so uh, we can use the Google IDK 2012. What do we need for this tutorial? A uh, do obviously, a uh, microSD with uh, Android pre-installed, a uh, simple LID, the development environment uh, uh, Android SDK and the Arduino IDE installed on an external PC, and some knowledge of the Android programming, the Android app programming. Using the ADK communication between the IMX6 processor running Android and the SAM 3X processor is not made through the shared serial port. It comes through the processor native USB OTG port instead. IMX6 native USB OTG can be switched between the SAM 3X uh, processor and an external micro USB port, the CN3. Note that the jumper J2 needs to be plugged. This enables the USB OTG bus for the MXX. Ok, let's start with Android. At boot, the connection is between the two processors. We are in this situation now. EMXX USB OTG port is connected to the SAM 3X. Plugging a USB cable to the CN3 connector will have no effect since CN3 is disconnected. Ok, now we are going in setting, developer option, and check the external OTG port enabled. Now we can plug the micro USB cable to the CN3 connector. Ok, a dialog appears and you have to allow the debug for your external computer. Check the always allow from this computer if you want. Ok. Once you have allowed the debugging, let's see another way to connect you do to your external PC through the Wi-Fi. To connect over Wi-Fi, you can uh, install one of the available app on the uh, market. We choose, the, for example, ADB Wireless. As you can see, we are connected to the Udo router network. We push the green button now and uh, we have the IP address of Udo. You can use uh, this uh, string to connect uh, the external computer to Udo. Ok, we are in our external computer. In Windows you have to open a, a prompt command. In Linux and Mac instead uh, you, you can use uh, only a simple terminal. We have to go in the path where you have installed the HDB. Usually is in the platform tools under the SDK installed on your computer. Here you can uh, type the string uh, given by HDB Wireless. So HDB connect and our IP address of you do. Okay. We are connected to the Udo over Wi-Fi, as you can see from the DDMS. Ok, let's look at uh, the application code. This is a very basic uh, app with uh, a simple layout, uh, only a toggle button, uh, which uh, need to turn on and turn off the LID. In our only activity, we have uh, some pieces of code uh, which need to manage the attach and the touch of the accessory. It uh, basically does uh, is uh, implement the Android uh, open accessory to communicate with the Arduino. When uh, we open the accessory, we create the input and output stream to write and read uh, on a USB bus. And uh, in the toggle button method, we simply 
uh, send a byte uh, in the up to the stream. In the manifest, we put some declaration to check uh, the hint and, uh, of the attach and detach uh, of the, the accessory and declare this uh, XML file called the accessory filter where we have put uh, some attribute uh, have to declare the in the Arduino sketch in the same uh, way. Okay, this is the Arduino sketch. There are uh, the same uh, attribute declared in the application. And this is the part where uh, we receive, uh, where we read uh, the, um, the bus and uh, turn on and turn off the LED uh, accordingly. Okay. We are going to install the, the application on Udo. We choose the Udo connected over Wi-Fi and we install. Okay, the application has been installed on Udo. In the article uh, you can find uh, the complete code and the download link. Now we just uh, upload the Arduino sketch on Udo. We plug the micro USB to the CN6 port and uh, unplug the J18 jumper. We select the right serial port and upload the sketch. Okay, done. Okay, now we are ready to turn on and turn off our LED. Let's go back to Android. Okay, we go back to the setting. We have to disable the external OTG port to restore the communication between the two processors. As you can see, you do detect the accessory and the application made to connect to. Okay, the accessory is connected and we go to turn on and turn off the LID. <laughs> Great! Okay guys, this was a simple example, another word for the Android DK. In the next tutorial, we show you how to implement a bidirectional communication between uh, Android and the Arduino. Okay, see you!